everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I am gonna be fulfilling a request from one of you guys. You guys had, one of you guys had asked me to share my purse collection with you. So that is one thing I'm gonna be doing and I'm gonna share a tiny haul from uh, Cracker Barrel and uh, one other thing from Amazon that I wanna tell you about. So it is so good to see you guys again. I have taken two days off, which is amazing. It has felt wonderful. Uh, as you know, the last time I was here with you, I had a terrible migraine and it was still with me on Tuesday morning, but I was able to kind of get rid of it by Tuesday afternoon. And I've been fine ever since. So Chris and I have been working in the basement on purging things. I have purged a ton of ribbon and I do not sell my things. One of you had asked me if I sell uh, my items and I do not, you guys. I donate locally. I only donate, it's, yeah, I make three piles. Keep, donate, or trash. And I had a lot of trash because for whatever reason, I had kept like this much ribbon on a couple of rolls and that was just silly. So I just trashed that. Others uh, that had not either been opened and I'd had for years and years, I gave to Goodwill. We took a big old uh, load of stuff to Goodwill this morning. So if I do a video tomorrow, I'm not promising, but if I do a video tomorrow, it will probably be down at that table that I sat down, set up downstairs. And we will go through maybe the rest of my spring bins and possibly my Pioneer Woman bins. Uh, I went through, I started to look through my red and white gingham bins that I, that I mentioned to you, but I decided I don't wanna get rid of that stuff. I very well might host another uh, family reunion and I would like to use some of the stuff because I've got enough red and white gingham tablecloths. What's in those bins is like red and white table, table red and white gingham tablecloths and uh, picture frames, red and white picture frames that I sat, had put pic family pictures in and had setting all over the house. Just things like that, that I want to keep, that I am not willing to get rid of, you know? So, uh, I feel like I'm a little crooked. <laughs> so, let me get started. So, I'm feeling much better. That's my point here. I'm feeling much better. So, I thought I would try to bring you at least this one more video this week and possibly one tomorrow too. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Um, so let me start out with this tiny little haul from Cracker Barrel. Chris and I went in there for lunch. We had not been in. It's like we forgot about uh, Cracker Barrel. Like in our, you know, in our places that we go to eat, we, we forgot about it. And I love their grilled chicken and green beans. Really been trying to lose some weight, you know. So we went in there and Chris had a chef salad, which was lovely. It had ham and turkey and, a, and a, like a wedge of cheese in it. It was lovely. And I had uh, their little chicken fingers, grilled chicken fingers and, um, or chicken tenders, whatever. And uh, you get two sides and I got two sides of green beans. <laughs> but I told Chris, I said, give me some time to look through here. I don't know what they have. And I really didn't, wasn't any interested in any of their decor items since I'm finished decorating for Easter. And since I'm really purging instead of trying to bring more in. So, but I am planning on getting little well, Mr. Mav. Hopefully Candace won't watch this. I don't think so. She's busy, <laughs> but I do want to get Mav Maverick, our grandson, a little Easter basket because he's going to be coming here the Saturday before Easter Sunday. I decided to have it on Saturday instead of Sunday. So uh, my dad is gonna be coming down that day and then staying the night and going home Sunday at some point. And he's bringing his clarinet and he's gonna play his clarinet for Little Maverick to see what he thinks of that. And uh, that'll, be, that'll be awesome. That'll be awesome. Maybe we can all sing for him a little bit, you know. No, I probably won't put that on video because none of my family wants to be on my video with me. <laughs> so I might be able to catch my dad playing for him though. I might be able to catch that. So, but anyway, as I was looking, I just, I just, yep, 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 yep. I'm telling you, you guys. Uh, 
But I did come across this little outfit for him to put with his Easter basket. You know, isn't that cute? Look, it's got little dinosaurs on it and a little polo shirt. So cute, so cute. So I did pick him up little short overalls. Can't y'all just see him in that? I can just see him in that. <laughs> so I got him that little outfit and that's it, that's it. It cost, uh, I do have my glasses, let me see. $20, $24, something like that. $24.99 for that. And I just thought that was so cute and so well made. You know, their stuff is so well made in there. So I got that for him. And then I've got uh, a bunch of other stuff coming from Amazon. Not anything uh, candy, of course, or anything like that. But I've got, I'm trying to help Candace out with her clothes for him. He's growing out of some clothes. So I got her like, I don't know, like five or six pairs of little sweatpants, little joggers, you know, and the little onesies to go with them, patterns and not patterns and things like that. Got her a bunch of, bunch of stuff like that. And then I got him a little bunny. And then I got him, he loves his, as you guys have seen, I, I'm not going to take this all apart because I am going to wrap it. But I did get him like an eight, I got eight <laughs> containers of these little Gerber puffs. You know, he loves his little puffs. So I thought I would stock them up on the puffs, you know. And uh, everything else, I got it all from Amazon and it's all coming, you know, within the next couple of days or whatever. So that's it. That's all I have to haul, you guys. <laughs> that is it. I have not been doing any shopping at all, really, at all, especially for decor and stuff. I don't need anything right now. I don't need anything. So, uh, but one of you guys had ask me to share my, I'm sorry, my hair is in my eyes here, to share my uh, purses. And you guys, year, about a year ago, I really, really, really purged some purses. And this, what I'm gonna show you is literally all of the purses that I have left over. I kid you not. Uh, so the purses that I'm gonna be showing you today are from Brighton, Coach, Dooney and Burke, uh, maybe a Kate Spade, Anushka, and a couple of Euro bags that I that I kept. And like I said, they're all gifts. They were every one of them was a gift to me, either from my girls that I asked for for Christmas or a birthday or what Chris has gotten me off of the cruise ships. And you know, again, I know there's going to be somebody hating on me. For, for just showing higher end purses, but I, that's what I have and that's what I was asked to show and I will show it, you know, even though I hesitate, I will be honest with you, I hesitate. I try not to do anything that's gonna bring hate on me, <laughs> you know, but I, I mean, it's what I carry and it's what I wear and it's real life, you know, so I'm gonna be honest and I'm gonna tell you. So here we go. Okay, uh, I'm going to start with uh, this. Well, let's just start with this one right beside me here. This one is a Dooney and Burke purse, and it's lovely. And I've only carried it a couple of times. It's like a bucket purse. Look at that color. Isn't that pretty? That is just the prettiest color. And you can see the Dooney and Burke tag there. And it's got... A front pocket and it's got a back pocket and then inside it, these are beautifully made this is a leather purse Dooney and Burke you cannot go wrong look at that red interior oh my word is that not beautiful and it's got all kinds of pockets I'm not going to take 500 years to show you the you know everything to do with each purse but it does have a place you could you know put your fob or whatever I'm always forever looking for my key fob and it's easier if I put it on here you know, so you can just pull it out of there. I have a gum wrapper. Yes, I do. <laughs> it's got a zipper compartment. And the person, the subby that asked me to do this, asked me to show what wallets I would put with this. And y'all know what? I have a lot of red, or a couple red wallets, and I'll show you one later. And that's what I would use with this. I would use a red wallet with this. I don't have one to match this specific purse. So, so let's see here. I have uh, a couple of purses, I think three of them here, that are four, three that are four that are all made the same. 
So I'm just gonna show you the red one here because red is my favorite color. I love wearing, I love red purses. For some reason, I just love a red purse. And I'm not one of those ladies that has to have my purse absolutely match my outfit. Unless I'm going somewhere where I know I'm gonna have my purse on me and that it is like an event of some sort, which I never go to those anymore since Chris is retired, you know. But I love a red purse. I have this same purse in black, white, I guess that's it, black and white. Black, white, and red, or it's cream, it's kind of a cream. There's the cream and the red, and then I have it in black. So this is a lovely, lovely purse. And believe it or not, that fits up on my shoulder perfectly well when I have it on and it kind of bends down. So I love this purse. And then inside is, oh, I've, I've used this one a lot. It's got like makeup marks in it. This has got pink inside. And again, it has your, your little thing you can put your fob on. And it's got the zippers in front. I can't give you links to any of this stuff, you guys. Unfortunately, these are older purses. And I have no idea whether Dooney still has them. You could check the Dooney and Burke website or you could check eBay. You know, I don't even remember what they were called, you guys. So, but you can tell I have used this purse a ton. A ton. And it doesn't even look like I ever hardly picked it up, does it? It's beautiful. But red and white. This is beautiful for spring. In fact, I might pull this out for spring. And I do, look, I do have a wallet to go with this one. This is the first one I got. I think I got this for Christmas from one of the girls. So I think I got the whole shebang here. And this, this is just a, a white leather purse change in the back. Look at the red inside. I just love it. And enough for a checkbook and credit cards and, you know, it's lovely. <laughs> so I do have a wallet to go with the white one. And do I have a wallet to go with the black one? Black is trimmed in brown. Here's the black one. It's trimmed in brown. So the the white is trimmed in a, a black. The black is trimmed in brown and the red is trimmed in brown. So there we go. Three, three purses that look the same. And I, when I find a, you know, a pattern that I like or a type that I like, I will tend to do that. And then I do have a different kind of Dooney purse here. Uh, this one... I don't remember who got me this. Chris, I think for Christmas. It has a lovely one, uh, it's a shoulder bag. And it is lovely to carry because I don't have the other strap falling down, you know? So, uh, I don't remember who got me this. Probably Chris. But again, it's got the red inside. I don't have a wallet with this one. Again, with the fob holder or key clip, whatever you want to call it. And then it's got a big front pocket in it. Perfect for your phone. So this one has like a lock on it. They're so well made and heavy. Oh, they're just lovely, you guys. This is a coach bag and it's ancient, but I haven't, I never want to get rid of it because I always, I always wanted a pink pocketbook, you guys. I always wanted a pink pocketbook. And I, I'm telling you, when Chris and I were younger, I couldn't, we couldn't afford it. We were just talking to Zach, our waiter today in, in Outback, and telling him stories about when we were first married and how Chris had to shovel the snow with a box because we couldn't afford to buy a shovel. That is a true story. That is a true story. And, you know, so when I had the chance to buy myself a pink purse, I do think, I don't know, Chris probably got this for me. Uh, he did. He did. He got it for me down at the coach outlet down in Williamsburg. But I just love it. Look at the pink purse. And I ought to pull this one out for spring, shouldn't I? It's old, but it, and it's coach, but it is one handle, and it's adjustable. 
you know, and you could, so you could wear it as a crossbody. And inside, it's, this has been well used. It's just like a tacky color, kind of uh, very soft though, inside. It's a pen mark. <laughs> and then I do have a wallet that has change in it. <laughs> oh yeah, it still has change in it. Does it have any dollars in it? No, probably not. <laughs> no. <laughs> but this is a cute wallet. I like this kind of wallet too for a smaller purse, you know, and that's for your change. And then you have a spot there and then credit cards and your license and whatever. I love this kind of wallet. Just a nice compact little wallet. It is from Coach. And I didn't get this at the same time I got the purse. I got this like a year later at the same store though. I remember that. So there is my pink purse, which I still love to this day. And I could not part with this. I could not part with it. It has nice, a nice pocket in the back. Actually, that's the front. Okay, now here is a purse that Chris got me on one of the ships. Theme. And this I is really love red. I love it to wear and I love it to carry purses. I love shoes in red, but this is a pretty little purse. Do I have a wallet? Well, I don't need a wallet for this one because look, it has a, you know spots for all of your credit cards. These are all credit card slots and for your money. And then credit card slots back here, clear thing for your license. And then your money, your dollar bills can go there, your change here. And that is a magnet, look at that. This is actually, this is, did I say this was coach? This is Brighton, this is a Brighton bag. And it came with the heart on it. I love this. I would say now Brighton is my favorite. As much as I love Dooney and Burke, and it also has a back pocket with a magnet. But I really like the uh, Brighton bags. Okay, so that does it for this entire tub here. So I have one other over here to pull over and show you. All right, this is another red purse. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have a ton of red purse, purses. And this is one of, uh, I think I bought this for to carry to a Christmas party or something for Chris's work one year. I really, I tell you the truth, I don't remember. But it's just a little red purse. Very, I like little purses too, and it's a crossbody. And I love a crossbody purse when I'm shopping and stuff, you know. So this is just a very simple little coach bag. And, uh, you know, nothing much to it. But it would fit, fit a cell phone in there. And it does have a back pouch too. And then I was just, more change. I don't take my change out of my wallets, obviously. This is a uh, Kate Spade um, wallet, and I got and it's red. Isn't that pretty? And I got it from the Kate Spade outlet down in Williamsburg, Virginia, too. I know that. So it's just, you know, for credit cards, and then there's a zipper part in the back for your change. It's a lovely little wallet, very thin little wallet. Can you tell I have a thing for purses? I'm gonna keep that out so I can clean out the <laughs> clean out the change. Okay, here we go. And this is uh, the last. This is the last I have. Look, you know, I really compared to what I used to have. I'll just say that this is probably a lot for some of you guys, but for me, this is not a lot. This is not a lot. Although, I mean, I, ha I have enough to wear like one, a, what, one for a month or something. <laughs> okay, here we go with another Dooney and Burke. This is a crossbody bag. Isn't this cute? Oh my goodness, so cute. And it's uh, trimmed in brown. They did have this in other colors too. I do have a tote bag. I don't know what happened to that. It's up in my closet. I have a, I have a, tote with like computer bags and tote bags and that's it that's in that one it is pretty it's this only in blue and it's a big tote bag it's pretty i'm not going to show you that today i do have a wallet in here this is just a, a very this is not fossil this is from fossil 
I think I got this from Kohl's, just a pink, little pink wallet to go with this. So, but this is just, it has red inside. <laughs> and again, it has the key holder. They all have that. And it has little credit card slots in there. So you wouldn't really have to take a wallet. And then it's got one zipper front compartment. And it is slightly adjustable. You can see. So, very pretty bag. I love this little bag. I've taken this one on cruises before to take that on my uh, excursions and whatnot. So there we go. And then this one is, an, uh, let me show you this one. This is another Brighton purse, which I haven't used yet. I need to pull this out. I just got this recently, like for Christmas last year. I went, no, I got it before our cruises last year. I got it before our cruises. I took it with me and I never did use it. I never did. So, but this, I love this little purse. And uh, this is a crossbody bag. And it came with the heart. And again, it's Brighton. That's their signature. A little tab there. And it's got a pouch there. And it's got a little pocket there. I thought this, and I don't know why I never pulled it out to use it. I don't think, I think Chris carried the money and I wasn't going to be separated from him or whatever. And I didn't worry about taking it off of the ship. But this is, again, a lovely little purse. And then I did get, is this Vera? What is this? Yeah, this is, this is Vera. And I just had gotten myself from the outlet, from the online outlet, I had gotten myself a little wallet to match. It's a trifold. I really need to pull this out. I think this is a super cute purse and I want to use it. I get stuck in a rut with what I really, you know, what I get used to wearing every day. This also has a back pouch. So this, and then I have uh, two Vera uh, mail. I think they're called mail bags. And these are old, but I think they're really cute. I did keep these. These are the only two Vera bags I kept pocketbook wise. And it has two pouches in the front. I don't wear a lot of Vera. I use it for my travels. That's what I use my Vera, is I use it for my travels. Vera though, is one of the most practical bags you could, and comfortable. They are so comfortable to carry, you know, with their quilt, their quilted bags like this. But I'm just not into them as much anymore, the bags anyway. I do have a try. It's magnet. I got dog hair on it. Oh my. It's been a while since I used this. So, but I have this one and I have a purple one. And this is a really old pattern, this one, but I just think it's really pretty. And that's all of the Vera purses. I did mention a while back that I might, um, if I if, it, if the plaid that I got from my blast backpack ever comes out in this purse, I'll get that. But it hasn't yet, so. Okay, and I have two little Brighton purses the same. Well, let me show you this first. I have an Anushka purse. I didn't even know what Anushka was until Chris and I went down to the Bodacious Bazaar. You hear me mention that a lot in my home tours. When I'm coming up on the front porch and I have the wrought iron stand with the shepherd's hooks with the lanterns hanging on them, that's where we got that. And I have a wrought iron chair and I have a spinner that we got when we were down at this sale. Well, we were walking out, we passed an Anushka booth. And I was like, oh, they are so pretty. Are you kidding me? In fact, this is what I'm going to pull out to, to use for spring. Uh, I said, these are so pretty. Are you kidding me? And I fell in love with this purse. And I have used it every spring, summer since. And it is still in beautiful shape. Look, it is pricey. Very pricey. You can find it on eBay. I don't know about this particular purse. They're hand-painted purses. And they're all slightly different, I think. But you can see Anushka there on the back. One of my favorite 
purses ever. One of my very favorite ever crossbody bag. And you can fill it up. I mean, you can really fill this thing up. So I love it. Absolutely love this bag. So has a little place for your lipstick. That's where I always put my lipstick. And then you don't have to carry a wallet. I didn't even show you this, sorry. Because the front, you know, has your credit cards. It has a place for money. And well, and on this side, it has a short shallower place for money. Your license change, you know. One of my favorite bags ever. And they have some beautiful, beautiful uh, colors and vibrant colors. It's just I happen to really like this one that day. Are, are you surprised it's not red? <laughs> I know, but I love this. So uh, I only have a few more to show you. The one that I got that I'm using right now, two that I'm using. What I normally do <laughs> is I usually have two purses hanging in on my uh, little hook home. It says home, I think, and I have hooks on it. And I usually have two purses hanging on. I usually have a crossbody purse for times when I'm going shopping by myself and I don't want to have to lug a big purse around. Like, you know, I, I, I don't like, I don't enjoy carrying a big old purse on my shoulder. I'd rather have a crossbody purse. This again is Brighton. And this is a purse that I, we got on, all three of these purses are ship purses we got on the cruise ships. And it has one pouch in the, uh, in the front that I always put my phone in. My phone fits perfectly in there. And I'll just, I have Glacier Bay <laughs> on my purse. And then on the inside, it has, you know, for your credit cards and your money and so on and change. And I don't have any change in this one, believe it or not. Oh, I do have a penny. <laughs> and then it does have a section that also has a zipper. And then it has another back section. Now, if you want, you can completely remove the strap and carry it as a, you know, as a clutch, or you can carry it as a crossbody, which is how I carry it. And the crossbody part is adjustable. So I, it's adjustable in that you can pull it. it. It doesn't have, like it doesn't unbuckle, it just pulls it like a, kind of like a sling, you know? So I have this in red. And then what I've been carrying, where'd I put it? Oh, is it in black. So I have, I know, can you believe I'm carrying a black purse? I know. So it has red and black. That's how much I love this little crossbody. This is one of my all time favorite crossbody purses. Absolutely. And that's why I haven't gone to the little florally one there because I just love these so much. And uh, you know, I just have tissues my key fob these are my business cards that i ha give out a lot you would think i wouldn't give them out so much but there's my business card <laughs> so and i've got a thing of lipstick a couple things of lipstick because you know i can't go anywhere without my lipstick and uh look what this is my COVID vaccination. Yay, you can see I'm fully vaccinated. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so I carry that with me. Kristen is gonna bring her laminator over the next time she has a laminator. Cause you know, she's a teacher and she laminates everything known to man. So she said, I laminated my card, mom, my vaccine card. I said, oh, can you bring that with you next time you come? She said, sure. She said, dad, I said, dad and I will get our cards laminated. So that way they won't get bent up and stuff. Cause I'm always going to carry it with me. I do carry it in my purse with me. Cause you just never know, you know? So anyway, so that's what I'm using now. And the same thing, this can be unhooked. This is the little, I carry my, you know, my antibacterial, Stuff with me all the time. Kristen got us these for Christmas and I carry my hand sanitizer at all times everywhere and use it frequently. And I have one more, one more to show you. 
And this is one of my all time favorite purses ever. And this thing was a chunk of change, although it was a lot less in on the ship last year than it would have been if I bought this from a Brighton store or even Brighton.com or even anywhere. Chris got a really good deal on this. And I wasn't gonna get it actually, and he got it for me. So, but this is, I love this purse. This is a, a Brighton purse and it is lovely. It has a, of course it's full of stuff. It's got a pocket in the front and a pocket, sorry, pocket in the back. And yes, I do like to carry stuff on my purse. I got this from Vera on the online outlet. I think the heart with the A might be Vera too, I think. But the heart came on it. This little heart came on it. And uh, inside, I've got a bunch of stuff. But there we go. That's the inside. You got tons of room. It closes with a magnetic closer closure and it does stay and then Kristen got me an Amazon card for Christmas an Amazon gift card for Christmas and I went and got myself an Anushka wallet to go with this so this is the wallet that I carry with this bag but and I got this on sale from Amazon and I do think I might have it linked in my Amazon shop but it's just a pretty little little wallet I've got a few dollars in there so lovely little wallet another thing that I do these are my Brighton sunglasses that I got again on the ship last year they have a lovely Brighton section I just love my little white sunglasses I'm styling now huh <laughs> love these little Brighton sunglasses they always have a little bling on them Got these for half price, I remember that, and they come in this big old hooten box. <laughs> uh, but another thing I do, and I'm sure you guys do this, and this won't be anything new to any of you, is I normally will carry like a little care package bag in my big purse. Uh, and if I don't carry my big purse, I'll put this in the car. So this goes everywhere with me every time we travel anywhere out of the house. It's got extra Advil. It's got, you know, uh, I've got a little measuring thing that I got from the Vera site, just in case I need to go in someplace to measure something. I've got a little uh, lip gloss on one end and then perfume on the other, happy perfume on the other. This came as a, as a, as a gift that one of my kids had gotten me for Christmas. It just has a little bit of lip gloss and then this is just a rolly happy perfume so that's handy to have you want to freshen up a little bit and this is another rolly thing of happy perfume i got as another gift and a little pad of paper and a compact to powder my nose you know because goodness knows it'll be shining brightly at you and waving at you. Little compact and Clorox wipes to go. You know, so I always have this little care package with me. And when I carry the big purse, it's in the purse with me. Or if I don't carry the big purse, it's it's in the car. It's in the back seat of the car. So, you know, and I always take hand cream and hand sanitizer and more hand sanitizer and a fingernail file and lipstick <laughs> what else tissues more lipstick another fingernail file <laughs> an extra phone cord <laughs> for in the court car my keys house keys tissues um, oh my goodness well i hope you enjoyed that part of this video I, I hope that it's something that you guys enjoyed seeing i know it's kind of different than what i usually do but uh i do have some questions though that i'm going to go ahead and answer too while we're here <laughs> i'm going long pretty long here so hopefully i can get some questions answered okay 
Number one from Debbie L. I do have a question. Are you planning on getting another dog at all? My husband and I lost our dog last October. I'm so sorry. Uh, we miss him so much. We are getting older and not sure if we will get a dog again, but we miss the companionship. Since we want to travel, we are putting it off for now. But you hit the nail on the head. That's exactly why we will probably not be getting another dog too, too soon. I, I feel sure we, we may have another one in our lifetime, but for right now, we want to do, Lord willing, we want to do some travel. You know, while we're young enough and able and uh, we really want to do some traveling and we always would ask our older daughter to come here. She's not married and she would come and house sit and dog sit for us. But she's the teacher and she would have to run back and forth and she lives about 45 minutes from us. And that was a burden on her. You know, that was a burden on her. So we don't, we don't want to put that burden on her. We did for many years, you know. So for now, no. As much as I love dogs, and y'all know how much I love dogs, but for now we're we're not we're not planning on getting any more dogs for for the moment. So, nope. All right, number two is from Brian Olson. Hi, Erlen. Do you find time to relax on your cruises, or do you go go go? Other than decorating, do you have any hobbies you can share? Huh. Well. Uh, do I find time to relax on my cruise? If, if the cruise is to Alaska, I absolutely do not relax, really. Uh, that is a go, go, go kind of cruise. Uh, there are a lot, there's a lot to see in Alaska, and I love it. And uh, there are two scenic cruising days. So one for when we, on the cruise that we normally do, we normally do the Voyage of the Glaciers southbound cruise, which starts in Whittier, really Anchorage, but it's about an hour and a half out of of Anchorage is the port of Whittier. And we start there and we, uh, my computer just turned off, there we go. And we, you work your way south through Hubbard Glacier, we go see Hubbard Glacier, then Glacier Bay. And then you have three port days right in a row, Skagway, Juneau, and Ketchikan. Then there's one sea day and then you're back in Vancouver. You get off in Vancouver. That is if Canada open, ever opens their borders. <laughs> Don't get me started on all that. We're not gonna go there. <laughs> And don't talk to me about the CDC either. I don't want to know about that right now. Just kidding. Just kidding. Kind of. Anyway, so uh, I do not relax on an Alaska cruise. It just depends on where we are. Uh, Mexican Riviera, for instance, I, I, I don't have a burning desire necessarily to see tons of stuff. In Mexico, I've done it once. So we have that in our queue. It's a group cruise with Scott Singer. So I probably won't go, go, go on that one. I'll enjoy the people that we're cruising with and have long talks with them and, you know, I don't know, just have a great time with that. So I would say it just depends on where we are. Uh, sometimes it's go, 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 and sometimes it's oh. not. Uh, do I have any hobbies that I can share? Y'all have seen pretty much everything that I can do. Uh, I, 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 I used to scrapbook. I don't do that anymore just because I simply ran out of room. And it is a lot to keep scrapbook upon scrapbook upon scrapbook. So I was just talking to somebody on, on in my Facebook group the other day where I think I'm going to try to start digital scrapbooking and do one for Mav a year for Maverick, you know, do one a year. Kind of like my calendar, you know, in the laundry room there. Uh, but so that was a big hobby. I did that for years and years. I did both bait mode. <laughs> I made both girls life albums from birth until they, they got out of college. Uh, and it took two big fat albums to do that. And of course, like I do with my decorate, I'm very, I was very particular. And maybe one day you'd like to see some of my scrapbooks. You know, I could show you some of those, you know, and show you how I scrapbooked. That was a big deal. I, I also crochet, you know, and, but that's kind of a craft, so. Not not a lot of hobbies. You kind of see me see me do all my hobbies, <laughs> you know. Okay, thank you for that question, though. <laughs> okay, number three from Susan Fantco. Arlen, I'm so sorry to hear you suffered a migraine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, you still feel the effects for days after you've had a migraine. Uh, those of you who are migraine sufferers, I know that you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you know. You, 
you, you struggle for words sometimes, you feel a little discombobulated, and it's, you know, migraine, it'll really knock you, knock you for a loop. She said, they are miserable, and they are. She said, hormones caused mine, and menopause was a help in giving me relief. I think mine, too, uh, because I have really had relief since I went through menopause. Uh, I wanted to ask a couple of questions. The necklace and earrings you are wearing are gorgeous and so perfect for spring. Would you share what brand or where you got them? Also, you had on a cute little pin, a butterfly. Is there a special meaning behind the pin? Take good care and rest. Hugs and blessings. Thank you so much, Susan. And I wore it today just because I knew I had this question. There's nothing really special about this little butterfly pin other than it was my mom's. My mom used to wear like entire outfits to work. She was a teacher. So she would wear like a pencil skirt, a top, a really, really pretty top, and then a jacket. And then she would always have a pin on her lapel. Either that or a long necklace. She uh, she'd wear scarves. She, my mom was a dresser. I'm telling you, she, she was a beautiful lady. From head to toe, inside and out, inside and out. My dad asked me the other day, he said, did you tell him how I bought your mom her, her stuff at Christmas? I said, dad, I don't know whether I've ever told you that, but my dad would buy her her entire wardrobe at Christmas time. He knew her sizes from head to toe, he would pin her out however many outfits and that was her Christmas. And then she'd always do a, a, you know, like a little fashion show for us on Christmas morning, but he, he has impeccable taste and you know, he could pick her out some beautiful clothes and what, what she looked beautiful in. So she always was dressed impeccably, impeccably. Her hair just so, she didn't wear a lot of makeup. She, she taught me about makeup, you know, taught me about how to, not that I'm anything, any, <laughs> I am not saying I am any kind of expert with makeup, but I don't wear a lot. And she, she always told me, she said, accent the good parts and hide the, you know, the blemishes and stuff. And so that's kind of, what I do, you know, but anyway, so the, it was hers. This was one of her little lapel pins. So, and I have a bunch and I, and I need to remember to pull them out. I really do. But that, that was her pen. The necklace I was wearing that day is from Amazon. It was not expensive. I have it linked in my Amazon shop in my jewelry box. This is the, this is the necklace that you're talking about. This is what I had on in the video that you asked me this question. And you probably didn't notice because I've got all this hair going on right now, but it does also, it also came with earrings to match. And I love it. I had it in this. It comes in all kinds of different colors. I love the, this is kind of all the go now, the multicolored, you know, uh, multicolored gemstones. There's not, these are not gemstones <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination, but, uh, but they also have it, I wanna get it in blue. I wanna check and see if they have it in blue because I would like it in blue, I think. But I also got it in purple. So let me turn it around here. Same thing. And it's a Y-shaped necklace. And it, it might seem like, oh my gosh, that is really kind of gaudy, Arlen. But y'all, I'm no small thing, you know? And I think it's so pretty to put on a pretty piece of jewelry. What's wrong with putting on a piece of jewelry that makes you feel, you know, a little bit pretty, you know? I'm not saying I'm pretty. I'm not saying that. I am so gun shy as far as what I say sometimes, you guys, because people just are hateful. People are just hateful. <laughs> anyway, this also came with earrings. Same thing. It comes as a set. So do check that jewelry box out. Jewelry, you know, the box named jewelry in my in my Amazon storefront and see if it's still not available. It might be, I don't know. I haven't checked. I didn't check that to see if it was available. So, but that's, that's where I got it. And I did take care. I did rest. Oh my goodness. I did rest in the last couple of days. So, and hugs and blessings right back to you, Susan. I hope that helps you. <laughs> okay. And number four, and my last one uh, from Tony Bartlett. Love your home and channel as well as your style. Well, thank you so much. Just wondering if you have, if you all have found any Civil War artifacts nearby. I really enjoyed your car rides. Thank you for all of the info. Awesome. We have not. We have never found a Civil War artifact on our property, 
but there are forever people out here, not in our property, but on there's a part of the neighborhood that's still being built on. And they're out there with their detectors, you know, and I don't know what they found. Uh, we're on a union encampment, so uh, our house is built on a union encampment. So I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't something, you know, here, but we have never found anything personally. So, but, you know, you can go to like the visitor centers around here and so on, and they show all kinds of stuff like that. Very Civil War rich area we live in. Very, very, very. Very close to the Battle of Chancellorsville, Battle of Fredericksburg, Battle of Spotsylvania. You know, all of those battlefields. As you all know, you've, I've taken you through those. So. But no, we haven't found anything. <laughs> I always say if we ever have a ghost, it's probably a Union soldier walking through here. You know. <laughs> Hopefully finding his way home. So that, my friends, is that. I did want to show you, if you haven't noticed, I did do my nails over again. This is Simply Marbleless, something like that, uh, from Color Street. Again, I'll put the uh, my little consultant's name in the, uh, in the description box. But really super pretty. And I have been digging in boxes and stuff, so my nails, there's nothing to them, but it's still there. This, and I've had these on since I've been digging in boxes. So there you go. They hold up beautifully. Somebody asked me, and I lost your question. And I don't know who it was, but I'm going to answer the question right now. Maybe you're watching. I uh, had asked me how these, how these hold up underwater. Great. Absolutely great. They don't wear off. The only thing that I have found that wears these off a little bit is my typing. Now, y'all, I do a copious amount of typing. So, if you don't type as much as I do, which probably not many people do, they probably will hold up. I mean, and I wouldn't even say they they do anything bad. I mean, these have been on since, today is, what, Thursday? And I put these on Monday night. Monday night or Tuesday. So, they look great. They look great. So that's it, you guys. I think that's all I have for you. And I'm gone really long, so hopefully I can cut this down a little bit. Of course, I can't ever, I don't ever skimp on my questions. So if it's long, I might leave it long. Uh, anyway, all right, you guys, that's it for this one. So I'm gonna hush and I'm gonna say, I again, I don't, if I come back tomorrow, it'll be, you know, downstairs purging, going through some bins and purging and, you know, putting them in the three piles and, you know, bringing y'all along, finishing, I'm going through my spring bins and my pioneer woman bins, I think. And that's probably what we'll continue on with next week too. I'm not sure what I have in the queue for next week at all, other than my family is coming in that weekend. So, you know, I got all that to take care of and get ready for. So anyway, all right. I hope all is well with everyone. <laughs> and for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be, or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.